Hey. <laughs> uh, hi. Um, it's me, Andy Christensen, Toad Church, as always. Um, are you doing good? We're doing good. We're doing all right. I hope we're doing okay. All right. So I think this video is going to be a bit more different than uh, all my other ones. I'm going to be a lot more candid, a lot more raw with you. And I don't know how much editing I'm actually going to do to this. I don't know how much cutting is going to be necessary, but we'll see. So this video is going up on August 19th, 2022, which is my 18th birthday, which I'm being told is a big number, a very important number. I'm becoming an adult. Um, and that's pretty hard for a guy like me to face head on, I think. But you know, you gotta, right? <laughs> um, I mean, what, I can't really run from it um, as much as I would like to. You know, turning 18 has really uh, made me kind of face this fear I have head on, or not fear, but like a kind of sense of regret or shame that, um, that I kind of wasted my youth or my childhood and, uh, missed out on a lot of experiences. And I did, I did miss out on, uh, a lot. There's a lot that I haven't done as a kid that I think you're expected to do as a kid or as a teen, or maybe not expected, but that a lot of people my age have already done. Um, but you know, there's uh, legitimately nothing I can do to change that. You know, I think I'm kind of coming into my adulthood with a sense of, uh, regret that I didn't do enough while I was younger. And I think my resolution for these next few years is to try and rectify that and to try and make the most out of what little youth I have left. Cause let's face it, it's, uh, I don't have 10 more years being young. And I feel like the threshold for young versus old is like going down. And I think it keeps going down every year with just the standards that like my generation and also like millennials and shit like hold themselves to, which I think is really sad. I think is legitimately sad. And I, I think that's something that I'm day to day angry about. If you're watching this and you're younger than me, if you're not 18 yet, and uh, you're as worried about the big threshold <laughs> as I am, then my advice is to just make the most of the time you have. Like, I mean, I know that's what everybody says, but there's a reason everyone says it. Everyone says it because they're right. Because it's good advice. Like, your teen, your teen years, your late teen years where you have like more freedom, you have like, you can drive or you have friends that can drive and you're looking at college and like, you're getting your first like jobs and stuff. This time where you have this like freedom and this youth, you really got to just like, just take advantage, you know, take advantage, be outgoing. If that's not motivation to be outgoing, then like, I don't know, then I don't know what it is, you know? My advice is to just kind of stay happy and you need other people to make you happy. Like I'm, I'm an introverted person. I don't like, uh, like crowds or noise. And I go through a lot of periods where I like, I just don't like talking to anybody about anything, but like you need other people to make you happy. You need other people to make you happy. And the thing, the thing that will make you feel like the thing that will make you feel the most like your youth was fulfilling and that you did what you should have done will be accomplished through being with other people and being with friends, your relationships, your experiences in those relationships, they will make you feel like you really lived life. That's what's going to happen. So make friends, hang out with your friends for God's sakes. I mean, this is coming from someone who's been single his entire life. And, you know, I kind of I kind of dread that <laughs> I kind of loathe that my bad. But, um, you know, like, what am I going to do? Go back and change it? I can't. I can only resolve that. I'll try and be more outgoing 
I'll try and be a better person. I'll try and be just, yeah, I'll try and be a better person. And then that's what's going to change it. That's what's going to lead you to a better life, you know, or at least a life that where you can die at the end of it with minimal regrets. Also, don't kill yourself. Don't fucking kill yourself. That's my advice. (laughs) Never mind. Actually, yeah, that's my advice. Don't fucking kill yourself, please. Like, please. It's never it's never a good thing. Don't fucking kill yourself, please. For God's sakes. I don't care who you are. I don't care how deep the hole you're in is. Just don't fucking kill yourself. I'm talking to a few specific people here. Don't kill yourself for the love of God. It's either live your life and experience the best years of your lives and make friends And have fun or kill yourself and meet. Maybe there's a God or maybe there isn't. And either way, you don't get to live here anymore. So I know what I'm going to do. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If I'm going to be honest, that that's something that's given me a lot of joy over these 18 years, too. Like, yeah, I don't know. Just being able to make what I want to make and having people like laugh at it and enjoy it and watch it has been really like it's been really rewarding if you're a creative person if you like entertaining people if you like making people laugh then do youtube for a little bit don't do it because you want attention or influence or power because in my opinion that makes you a pussy that makes you a fucking disgrace that makes you a plague on the internet but you know, whatever. Find something that fulfills you. Find something you like doing. If you don't have a hobby, then you should get one. If you don't have a hobby or a trade or a skill, which you probably do, and you just you're just struggling to remember it. If you are, but um, you should get one. You should totally get one because that's yeah, that's another thing that's going to make you feel fulfilled. You know. Thanks for watching. Uh, happy birthday to me. Um, my album, Fake Endorphins, releases in a week on the 26th. There's going to be a full visualizer on YouTube, and it's also going to be available everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, <laughs> uh, you name it. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for experiencing uh, however many years you have with me. With me. Thank you. Do you have a dollar? <laughs> Chris, what do you think of Blade? We're gonna go to live in concert. To see where these go. The Midnight Raid was 100% successful. <laughs> That's it. Get your fucking head out of her lap. Jesus Christ, you fucking pervert. You would pretend to fuck the robot. Can you put like holes in your yeah. I saw this little bug. I opened a window and I saw this little bug. Creature. What is this? Get away with this. Close. Just what? Not too close. Get away.